the present tense. My name is Bibi Dujan Moko from Sanata Dharma University, Yogyakarta. Uh, in the discussion of the present tense, we are going to talk about the form, the usage or use, and the adjunct of time, which usually comes with the present tense. Now, let's start with the form. Well, the form of the present tense or sentences in the present tense can be in the positive, negative, and interrogative. Now, let's start with the positive sentence. A positive sentence in the present tense has a stem, I, V, U, they, or stem plus S if the subject is he, she, or it. So if the subject is I, V, U, or they, or nouns which can be substituted with V, like John and I, or Mary and I, that's V, or a noun which can be substituted with uh, he, she, it, then we have the stem plus S form, like goes or eats and so on. You have like, I like go shopping. Here you have the stem form, I like to go shopping. Barry watches a movie every Saturday night. Here, watches. Here, we need to pay attention to this uh, spelling here. We add not just S, but uh, ES, watches. And then it also occurs with other uh, stem, which ends with S, like in buzz, buzzes. Uh, we have uh, case, cases, watch, watches, buzz, buzzes. Uh, and then you have judge, judges. So we add ES if the word end with the, this sound. Another example, you have and visit her grandparents every Christmas. So here we have visit because we, uh, the subject here is an and an can be substituted with the pronoun she. Barry can be substituted with the pronoun he. So Barry watches a movie every Saturday night. That's watches. And and visit the grandparents every Christmas. So these are the form of sentences in the present tense. And then in the uh, negative sentences, we have uh, don't or do not if the subject is I, we, you, or they, or doesn't if the subject is he, she, or it. And then we have the stem form. For example, I don't like eating sweets. Well, sweets are not good for my teeth. Probably not good also for your uh, teeth. I don't like eating sweets. So here we have don't and like as a stem form. John doesn't join the meeting. So you have does not here and then join. John doesn't join the meeting. And then we have the dress doesn't suit you well. The dress doesn't suit you well. So here you have a suit. So there's a verb here. Here we have doesn't for the dress. It can be substituted with the word it. So the dress can be substituted with the word it and John can be substituted with the word he. John doesn't join the meeting. The dress doesn't suit you. And then we have interrogative sentences. An interrogative sentence in the present tense takes do, or uh, if the subject is I, we, you, or they, or does if the subject is he, she, it, or any noun which can be substituted with them before the subject and the verb in the stem form. Here we have do you eat candies? So do here is placed in the beginning of a sentence before the subject. Do you eat candies? Does John want to come to the meeting? You have does. Does John want to come to the meeting? John is he. Does the jacket fit you? This must be fit. Does the jacket fit you? Fit and suit. So fit means it's more on the size and suit is on the style, whether it's in the style and the color, the pattern, so that's it. Uh, therefore, we have a fitting room, not a sitting room. Fitting room. Does the jacket fit you? Okay, and those are the forms of the sentences in the present tense. Now we have the use or usage. The first, uh, the present tense is used for a general truth, for a habitual action, a present state, and a fixed arrangement. Now let's talk uh, about these one by one. Uh, the first is habitual action. 
A habitual action is an action or state which becomes one's habit at the current time. So it's a, it's a habit. Here we example, I get up at 5 in the morning. So this is my habit to get up at 5 in the morning. It's just a habit. It's not like a general truth. I just, this is my habit. I get up at 5 in the morning. Probably with this holiday, then I, do, I get up at 8 or at 9. But this is my canon current habit to get up in the morning. I get up at 5 in the morning. Diana has oatmeal, milk and fruit for breakfast. So this is the habit of eating uh, of Diana in the morning. She has oatmeal, milk and fruit for breakfast. Cynthia is very busy on Sunday. This is a habit. This is a habitual state for Cynthia. Cynthia is a very busy on Sunday. So it may change sometimes, or it may change, but as a habit, it may change. It's given from uh, uh, later general truth. But now let's have the uh, present state first. The present state shows a state or condition which is true at the moment of speaking. So it's true at the moment of speaking. The condition is going on at the moment of speaking. Here, we are all happy with the test result. We are all happy with the test result. Yeah, because in the previous test, we had bad grades. Now, in the, in the current test, we have good grades. So we are all happy with the test result. It's present condition, present state. It's a little hot today. It's a little hot today. Let, should be a little, right? It's a little hot today. So you have, uh, it's a current condition. It's hot now. Probably it's not hot tonight, but it's now it's uh, the current condition. It's the current state. It's a little hot today. Yogyakarta is a crowded city. This is also a present state. And this state, in this uh, span of time, Yogyakarta is a crowded city. Who knows if we have an underground train, probably it's not crowded anymore in the future. But at the present state, in the present time, Yogyakarta is a crowded city, especially uh, during the weekends or if we have long holidays. So in this uh, present state, and then we have uh, another example. You look beautiful with your short hair. Well, I have to say that you look beautiful with your short hair. Uh, this one here, this is a state, uh, you look beautiful because of your short hair. Probably if you have long hair, you don't look beautiful anymore. So here we have a present state. And then we have the third is a general truth. A general truth is a connection or state which does not change throughout time. So generally it does not change throughout time. For example, this street goes to Solo. So if you have a street like you have the Artichoke Street and then you have the next street, then the street does not change from today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, in the future. This street goes to Solo. Uh, that's a general truth. You can argue. It's, it's something which is true throughout time. Myanmar. So this, this should be Myanmar. Myanmar shares a border with four countries, China, Laos, Thailand, and Bangladesh. So this is this is a general truth because it does not change. Myanmar cannot change its location. It's it's something like that. And it's always like that now and in the future. And also it was like that in the past. So it's a general truth. Myanmar shares a border with four countries, China, Laos, Thailand, and Bangladesh. Now, the red chili is very hot. Yeah, you cannot argue with that. The red chili is very hot. Uh, that's a general truth. If it is not hot, then it's not the red chili anymore. That's a general truth. And then we have a fixed arrangement. An action or state which will happen in the future because it's already planned can be expressed in the present tense. So to show, to guarantee that it will happen in the future, we can use the present tense to show such an action. We have, for example, the annual linguistic conference is on August 12 to 14. So this is in the future, and its uh, present tense is because it's part of a program. It's something which will happen. It has been scheduled. So it's a fixed arrangement. The arrangement is already fixed. 
we have the test starts at 8. This is already uh, fixed. This is already scheduled. So it's fixed. I have a class tomorrow. This also present tense and the future because it, that's the schedule. I have a class tomorrow. Well, here probably, uh, although we can call them fixed arrangement, but if something happens, for example, today or tomorrow it rains very hard and uh, we have the students cannot come to class and the internet connection is off, so when there will be no class tomorrow. But this is uh, according to the schedule, according to the arrangement, the test at eight, and the, and the test starts at eight, and the class is tomorrow. That's fixed, although. Well, if condition happens, then probably it does not happen. It does not uh, proceed, goes on as it has been arranged. So once again, we have uh, four reasons for the use of the present tense. The first is the uh, habitual action. So we use uh, the present tense to show a habitual action. The second is to show a present state, a present state, a state which is going on in the present time, it's true at the present time. Then we have a general truth, an action or state will, which does not change throughout time. Like uh, Samarang is in center of Java. That will be, uh, that will not change because it's always in central Java. Well, unless, I don't know. But if you can say Samarang is the capital of uh, central Java, probably that's not it's not a general truth because who knows if tomorrow it's changed or next year it's changed. But the location is something which is fixed. So that's uh, a general truth, something which will never change throughout time. You have uh, examples of time. In the present tense, uh, several examples are usually or can usually occur with uh, the present tense. They are usually always, often, seldom, rarely, never, sometimes, normally, occasionally, and every. They are often called agents of frequency. They show the frequency of the action. And they show that uh, it's a present habit or something which is uh, something which always happens or it's uh, something which is uh, fixed. Lenny usually comes late to class. This is a, this is a habit, but probably because the teacher is very strict, and then uh, she the teacher could, uh, gets very angry with her, and then probably Lenny may change the habit. But this is uh, usually here is uh, the agent of time, and we can we can as an agent of time we can put uh, usually in the beginning like usually Lenny comes late to class, in the middle Lenny usually comes late to class, or at the end. Lenny comes late to class usually. So the position of an Chang can be in the beginning, in the middle, or in the end. Here we have uh, Rita always strokes. This, that's what I uh, see. Rita always strokes her hair when she is nervous. So when she, ner she feels nervous, she strokes her hair, uh, combs her hair with her, with her fingers. Rita always strokes her hair when she is nervous. And that's uh, a chunk of time. And again, Always here occurs in the middle, it, it can occur in the beginning before Rita, and then it can also occur at the end after uh, hair or before when. Rita strokes her hair, hmm, well, no, or, or always, I think, always Rita. Rita strokes her hair always when she's, well, always, it seems it's not natural you have to put it uh, at the beginning or at the end. It, it's, it sounds the best with the before the pretty kid. But with usually, it sounds natural. Usually, Lina, uh, Lina usually, and Lina comes late to class usually. And then I come to campus every day. I, every day I come to campus, yeah, because I'm a religion lecturer. Every day I come to campus, and I come to campus every day. I every day come to campus. That's also possible, but that's not very common. So in general, the best place is it's usually in the beginning, in the middle, or in the end, but depends on the uh, on the agent. Like usually, uh, uh, sometimes and rarely, that can be occur in the middle or in the in the beginning, in the middle, in the end. But if we have uh, always just now, always Rita stroke. That doesn't sound. 
Okay, uh, let's say a chunk of time. So sometimes normally I Lenny normally comes late to class. Lenny occasionally comes late to class. That's it's just the frequent. Uh, it's just the frequency. Well, that's all about the present tense. Thank you very much. So please remember, we have the form and also in the use. And a chunk of time does not always occur, but uh, the most important is the meaning. So we need to consider the meaning of a present tense or the meaning of an action or state if you want to use the present tense. Thank you. That's all.